Strike Enhancement to Cinema 6.4 Addressing a long standing issue with the aesthetics of the Cinema Desktop environment outside of Linux Mint, the team will introduce a much improved default theme starting with the upcoming Cinema 6.4. This move is part of a broader initiative to maintain a pleasing visual experience across different distributions, which often neglect their own themes leaving Cinnamon with the four settings and a look that, let's face it, isn't the prettiest. LMDE 5 is now end of life. LMDE Linux Mint Debian Edition 5 LC was released on March 20, 2022, reaching the end of life on July 1 this year. In other words, it will no longer receive updates. In light of this, users are en encouraged to upgrade to LMDE6 to continue receiving support and new features. Don't worry if you are unsure how to do it, we're here, here to help. Our step-by-step -step guide how to upgrade to LMDE6 from LMDE5 will guide you through the process, make it, it easy. Revamping ABT libraries and utilities. One of the significant undertakings in the upcoming Mint 22.1 release involves overhauling the apt dependencies to modernize and streamline the tools and libraries essential for the operating system. This includes merging outdated tools like GDV and app tool into a single utility application named CapTime and apt demo into a library called aptkit. These changes will eliminate paper cuts, minor but persistent issues from previous releases, refining means package management functionality and reliability. Server boosts and to generous community donations and ongoing support, the Mint project reported successfully upgrading its repository servers. These servers now boast a bandwidth capacity of 10 Gbps, a tenfold increase from their previous capability. The upgrade has effectively eliminated bottlenecks during large updates, particularly noticeable when large packages like Firefox or Chromium are updated simul simultaneously. Such improvements ensure users receive updates without lagging download speeds, enhancing the overall user experience.